We're joined now by Grand Chief Constant Awashish from the Atikamekw National Council. They've just come out of a meeting with Premier Francois Legault and they're describing their feelings to be optimistic but cautious. So Grand Chief Awashish, thank you so much for joining us. Can you just describe for us what the meeting was like this morning and what you feel was accomplished? I think we had uh, on both sides a mission uh, to accomplish uh, uh, about the discrim uh, discrimination. Uh, of course, there is a there's a notion of systemic discrimination that uh, not everybody agreed on. Uh, but uh, me, I still uh, all on my point of view, uh, and many people and experts still all on that uh, point of view. Uh, it's not saying that everybody is racist uh, by admitting that uh, it's a, there's a systemic uh, racism against First Nations. It's not admitting that uh, uh, people are racist. It's just uh, how uh, how the how everything was built on. Uh, was built on the on the on the inferiority of uh, First Nation mm -hmm. and put aside First Nation so we can grab on what First Nation own. Mm -hmm. So, based on that, many 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 uh, bad thought about First Nation grown eh? with time, uh, with the history. Uh, some people would uh, would feed those kind of mentality, and uh, I think uh, that's 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 what we didn't agree on. It's this systemic, but. I, I felt that he was listening mm -hmm. and uh, now we, uh, we're going to look uh, forward for what he, uh, he agreed for. He said he needed action, he wanted to do action, uh, that he, he's going to do things that he can, uh, he can see mm -hmm. with his own eyes, uh, change, uh, result. And now uh, we're going to look uh, forward to see those results uh, in the next year, the next two years, to see if uh, he was really uh, sincere by listening to us. Absolutely. Now, just over the weekend, they announced that there would be a public coroner's inquiry. Yeah. What do you feel can be learned from that that we haven't already learned from, say, the MMIWG inquiry report or the VA Commission report? Well, I think, uh, again, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. But of course, uh, there's so many reports about First Nation with government should know what to do by now uh, with First Nation. Uh, what we ask about that is we need to, to have someone who can be an observator in the in the process mm -hmm. uh he was gonna look into it now we're gonna wait for answer now as i understand part of what was established today is that the Atikamekw nation and the quebec government would be communicating via minister sylvie damour in the coming yeah. weeks there have been calls for her resignation yeah. over the yeah. last week is there confidence that that she will hold in those engagements uh, that's the decision that that's being held by uh, the prime minister we'll leave we uh, leave in this uh, decision but for us uh, uh, we engage ourselves to meet with uh, the minister, whoever is going to be, whatever. And then in the future, we don't know, but uh, we're going to meet more frequently. And the prime minister told me to call him if, uh, if something, uh, something is up or uh, I don't agree with something. So. Good to know those communication lines yeah. are open. Now, one last question for you. The death of Joyce Esterkron has mobilized Canadians, everybody around the world. Yeah. What do you think that non-Indigenous Canadians can do to better support First Nations or even Joyce Esterkron's family now moving forward in this? Well, I think it's uh, to learn a little bit more about the, the, the history of First Nation, all the different uh, culture, languages. Uh, uh, go to uh, just read books uh, about uh, First Nation. Uh, go to uh, Evan Hart uh, exposition uh, about First Nation. Uh, just go get the taste of what it is to, to be a First Nation and try to put the, the, the goggle that First Nation has uh, when they, they speak about themselves and when they speak what they went through. That's, uh, that's all we, we need. We need people to also, when they see racism happening, not to close their eyes, but to, uh, to say, hey, it's enough. Let's move on and let's create a better society that our, our children deserve. Go very well said, Chief Awashish. Thank you so much you. for joining us. Now, just to remind you, there is no set date for when we will be receiving that public coroner's report, but we'll be continuing to cover the story as it unfolds.